around 200 boulder problems at Iron City Boulders, and today we're going to climb every single one of them. Or we're at least gonna try. I've invited about 10 of my friends to come climb for my birthday weekend. People are gonna be popping in and out throughout the day. I showed up at the gym around 9 a.m. and the gym closes at 9 p.m. That means we just have 12 hours to complete all of the climbs. We're just starting. Lily is the first person to be here. Let's freaking go. My name is Lily. I've been climbing for just over two years. Why did you want to participate in this? I wanted to support my new friend Courtney and it's a very unique challenge that I've never done before. Okay, so we're trying to find an area that we want to start in. I was going to say this purple one is super fun. Okay, we'll do that one. Yeah, come on. There you go, you got the one out to the left too. There you go, nice. Yeah, come on. You got it. <laughs> oh yeah, good job. If you climb the climb, then you get to name it. it felt like a Cedric. <laughs> I don't know how long it's gonna be. I have no idea, I've never done this before. <laughs> this blue one is one that I've been working on. should be showing up and Hannah is helping me film. We had a discussion the other day about the best type of pasta and she's very, very, very wrong. She says it's rigatoni. So I'm gonna name this climb rigatoni. So Hannah is here. I'm Hannah Phillips. Been climbing for almost a year. Yeah, as a thank you for helping me film. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best gift I could have gotten, honestly. <laughs> It's the goat. Why did you want to be part of this experience today? I want to be a part of a bunch of things that Courtney does, but also it's like combining two of my favorite things, which is like making videos and climbing. What are the chances that you think that we actually pull this off? Pretty high. I think it, it's going to depend on like the strong, strong, strong people coming through in the end of the day. You're helping me film today, and so I feel it's only fair to let you know, let you in on part of the secret of this video that no one knows. That's so cool. And we can kind of plot and see like who we're going to let in on the secret throughout the day. That's really epic. Starting in the horseshoe area, we began knocking out climbs one by one. Yes! This top is so tricky. Yes! Yeah! It is about 11 o'clock and people are starting to roll in to join the challenge. I'm getting a little anxious because it's already been two hours and I feel like we haven't put a huge dent in the amount of climbs. It was time to add some more climbers to the crew. My name is Mark. Hi, I'm Michelle. My name is Akil Bondi. Uh, my name is Eddie. I was invited last night. <laughs> <laughs> I've been climbing for about a year and a half now. I've been climbing for almost a year now. I've been climbing for a year and a half. It's 11 o'clock right now. Do you think that we'll be able to climb all 200 problems by the end of the day? Yes, I think so. I think so. I think you have enough talented people in the gym to do it. I think so. It's a lot of problems, but yeah, I think you'll be able to do it here or there. If I can do like six problems, I think I'll be happy. Okay, six <laughs> problems. We'll take it. We'll yeah. take it.
As Michelle knocked out a couple of pinks, climbers were getting creative with naming the climbs. Crimpin' ain't easy. Clamshell. Pink and crimpy. A baby hulk. Laughing at the fire. Chalk walker. The bouldering celery. The bouldering celery. Dang, I love it. So I feel like the horseshoe, we're doing pretty well in the horseshoe. The block, we're doing all right. Things seem to be going well, with a few exceptions. As Hannah was making moves, whether those be upwards or downwards, the team kids found out we were filming and wanted to join in on the fun. What's your name? Bella. How long have you been climbing for? Uh, a year. One year? How old are you? Um, almost nine. It was like hard well, all the times I did it, so I made a new way to do it. And it's scary, but um, it's easy and not really scary anymore. This slab problem is so, so balancy, and the finish hold is insanely small. Good job! What's like a piece of advice you would give to people that are new at climbing? Well, you should start off easy and climb your way up. Keep on practicing a lot. What's your favorite part about climbing? I like climbing with my friends. Yeah, I also like climbing with my friends a lot. It makes it a lot funner. Yeah, nice Lyle. I need to move this foot up. Yeah, there you go. Yeah! Hi, my name is Indy. What's your like favorite type of thing to climb? More, more like slab, thin, crimpy stuff, and more some slopers here and there. So not everyone knows, but for every climb that we climb today. Wait, do you need anything else climbing? <laughs> yes, I do. Uh, this is one of the most fun fours in the gym. A lot of flowy moves, but it's just technical enough that you need like a little bit of finger strength on it. team and me we can get every single 10 in the gym because those are the ones that you won't get with anybody else I think. I was maybe thinking about today like seeing if there was any team kids that were around like later this evening yeah you know like after you guys have rested a little bit now I'm getting back to the rest of the group and seeing where we're at done three climbs in the cube and 10 11. As of 12.45, we are currently at 37 out of approximately 200 climbs for the gym. But how do we think we're doing? I think tackling the gym-wise, I think we need to adjust the strategy a little bit, which we're doing now. We're like taking it section by section as a group instead of just spreading out. Surprisingly, energy is still high. So I think that we're doing okay. We're going to knock out this cube area and we're going to add more to the list in the next hour and that number is going to go up dramatically. So yes. don't even worry about it.
You're so color coordinated today. I try. Yeah, come on. You got it. Yeah, come on. Come on, stick with it. Nice, Lily. So Jed should be getting here soon and then also Tara and Tyler and some of their friends should be coming a little bit later in the afternoon. So we have more climbers that are coming to help us finish this thing. So this is Jed, this is Lily and Morgan. Hi, nice to meet you. Are you going to get another V5 today? That's the plan. I really want to get that um, pink one over there that I was getting close to. The time was now 1.14 p.m. and we had tackled 42 problems. One problem we couldn't tackle, however, was a slopey V4, and morale was starting to dip. Do you think we're actually going to be able to do this? No. You don't? <laughs> How many climbs do you think that we'll climb? Like 150. I'm just nervous about the like sevens pluses. As I watched my friends fall over and over and over again, I decided this was the perfect time to provide a little motivation and finally let everyone in on today's secret. So today, the goal is obviously to climb every single boulder in the gym. Um, but there's a part that I didn't tell some people, and that's that for every boulder that we climb today, Athletic Brewing is donating $2 to a local climbing organization, so PAC. So for every boulder that you climb, we've already raised, I think, close to $100. And also, they've been generous enough to provide us with some free non-alcoholic beer. <laughs> so help yourself and thank you for being a part of an effort to make the climbing community better. Athletic Brewing is a non-alcoholic craft beer company that I've loved for over a year now. I used to work at a store that sold supplies for people to make their own wine and beer. Every Thursday, my boss and I would drink a glass of wine or beer, which was a lot of fun, but every Thursday afternoon, I would be super tired and unmotivated because of it. Enter Athletic Brewing. It's 100% alcohol-free beer that tastes great. They make a variety of styles, including IPAs, Golden, Light, and Hazy. My favorite is the Run Wild IPA. I like Athletic because I can drink as much as I want without feeling the negative effects of alcohol. I usually bring it to parties so I can feel like I'm drinking and being social with everyone, but I can still drive myself home after. And it's perfect for climbing because you can drink and climb safely. If you'd like to try Athletic Brewing, you can get 20% off your first purchase at athleticbrewing.com with the code CourtneyS20 at checkout. It tastes like beer! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Akil, say it again. No, it tastes like beer! <laughs> Armed with some brews, it was time to scent, baby. Yeah, Down seriously. <laughs> My name's Andrew. Okay, and how long have you been climbing? Like six months. Six months? Okay, we're fresh. Yeah. Let's see it. Very I fresh. love it.
would you name that green guy? Mount Rogers. I, I don't, it's the highest mountain in the state of Virginia. Oh. So I'm going there next month. Okay. There, there's no climbing involved. <laughs> I love it. If you watched my previous video about climbing alone, you'll probably recognize this orange comp climb that Mark's climbing. The beginning of this problem is super flowy and fun once you get the beta sequence down. But it was nice to actually watch someone get past the point of the knee bar that I kept getting stuck at. How are you finding the setting here since you normally climb in a scent? I like the setting. It's really different. Um, and I think it's cool to try different types of setting styles. I'm not gonna lie, wow. this is like one of the most detail-oriented things I've done in probably my entire life. What else needs done? So the slabs. We need to do a lot on the slabs. Yeah, come on, babe. At this point, Mark had become my official office assistant, going through all the climbs and assigning problems to people looking to climb. He made sure every problem got recorded and named, even though he hadn't quite thought of a name for his orange problem yet. I didn't name the orange one from comp yet because I just, I want to think of a good name for it. It's such a cool climb. It is about 2.30 p.m. and I just got word from Anna, Kayla, and Lexi, my Ohio friends that they are on their way. So they should be here in a couple hours. But right now, we are going to turn our attention to Mark and his administrative assistant capabilities to find out how many climbs we've done so far and how many we have left. How many climbs are we at? What is 71? Uh, I'm hoping that's right. I believe you did the math. As we rolled into mid-afternoon, Hannah was figuring out how to finish a purple slab problem. second nub there so but thank you yeah that really helped when jed originally came in to climb his only goal was to get this pink b5 Pretty happy. I, <laughs> I was starting to doubt whether it was going to go. But Jed, Jed's V5 what? streak is on a roll. Oh, what should I name it? Um, weekly V5, because I've been doing one V5 a week. <laughs> Slowly but surely, the team continued to add climbs to the board. One of the staff members, Anthony, jumped in to give this purple problem a shot since we were all having trouble on it. Big strong! Yeah! 
Yeah, nice. It is currently about 3.30 p.m. and unfortunately we have to say goodbye to the very first person to get here today and her lovely friend. Thank you so much for being here today, guys. Oh, what, what did you think overall of the experience? Oh, I experience. loved it. Yeah. Yeah, it was great. I hope you get all 200, even though I have faith in 150. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Shortly after Lily and Morgan left, more of the crew walked through the doors. We've been talking about them all day. We've been leaving things to them. It is the one and the only two people. It is. Tara and Tyler! <laughs> what are you guys' thoughts on climbing most of the pinks, whites, and blacks? I'll give Tyler's you the pinks, and, give you the pinks and the blacks. Tyler and Tara also brought their friend Simon along. Climbing Simon, I am Climbing Simon. My name is Tyler Podomic. My name is Tara. Uh, I've been climbing, I think it's about three and a half years now. I've been climbing for almost five years now. I've been doing it for like 10 years on and off. Okay, you have the record of the day for how long people have been climbing. I think so far five or six is the most. Yeah, I was doing it before it was cool, so you know. <laughs> Okay, Tyler Podomic, can you tell me a little bit about your art? Um, <laughs> I use a lot of color, I like to paint portraits. Like kind of a mix between like abstract and portraiture and renaissance style, surrealism. His art is very cool, everyone should go check it out. I'm a lead climber so I love to cruise up like fives and sixes. Well we have some pinks that we need, which okay. is right in that range. What is your favorite style to climb? Like what do you think you can contribute to the team today? I mean, I thrive on slab, I'm not gonna lie. Do you think we're gonna be able to do it? <laughs> By the time the gym closes, do you think we're gonna get all of them? Um, yeah, I do, I do. While Tyler, Tara, and Simon ticked off a few more climbs on the list with their warm-ups, I went to grab them some brews to kick off their session. As the trio climbed, it was time to say goodbye to another one of the crew. Kilo set it out, but we yeah. had a good day. Um, how was the experience? It was awesome. Tiring, but very, very awesome. Yeah, yeah. I Do you think you're going to be sore tomorrow? I'm definitely going to be sore. <laughs> Am I going to probably climb tomorrow? Probably. But it'll be fine. It'll be fine. There you go, Cheers. sir. Awesome. Do you want a third one? Sure, I'll take a third one. Thanks so much. There you go. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> As Tyler crushed black after black after black, Hannah was giving it her all on this blue V5. Easy, quick.
It is about 4.30 and Kayla, Alexi, and Anna should be here in around 20 minutes. Tyler, Tara, and Simon are making some progress on the pinks, blacks, and whites. And Hannah has asked for an athletic brewing, so I am here to deliver. Your drink, ma'am. Oh, thank you. <laughs> And then, after a whole month of me not getting to see them, the absolute loves of my life walked in the door. Good. It's good to see you. You too. Hi. Hi. climb but that's okay. Anna can you explain what happened to the people? I was skiing and I tore my ACL and yep. my meniscus so. Oh I didn't know both. Yeah and some other things but those are like background noise <laughs> compared to the ACL. <laughs> <laughs> we laugh more when things are bad. Yes exactly it's a coping mechanism. But she still came. Yes. All right Lex you ready to climb? <laughs> Although I was stoked to see Kayla, Anna, and Lexi, I had to go film some of the other climbers. So enjoy this phone footage on a couple of the oranges. Remember the blue everyone was falling off earlier? Well, Tara gave Mark the beta for the top and it was time to put that problem to rest. Mark had been trying this purple problem all day and finally decided to take his own advice that he'd just given to Tyler. We were at 112 problems climbed for the day, which was only 63% of the gym. So we added another participant to the list. I'm Thomas, I have started working at Iron City, and I am obsessed with climbing. Wait, you need climbers? Yes. That's me. Dude, <laughs> come on. You got it? 
You're cruising. You got it. Tyler had been sending all the blacks in the gym. At this point, he'd climbed close to 15 problems, the highest number anyone had climbed so far. Yeah, yeah, let's go! Tyler had told Mark that he thrived on negative energy to get him fired up while climbing. So Mark kept on basically just telling Tyler that he sucked the entire session. Come on, Come on Tyler! Yeah, nice enough. Easy. You let go, I'm done with you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was now about 5.45. We'd reached out to a couple of the team kids to see if they were available to help us finish the climbs, but we weren't having much luck. Brendan said he'd stop by, but he wasn't interested in any more climbing, since he'd spent all day at Darnell Hollow sending a V10 and was tired. It is currently 5.51 p.m., and we're starting to get to the point where we literally only have whites and blacks left. I convinced him to climb with us. You convinced Brendan to climb with us? Yeah, he, he wasn't going to climb because he was too tired, and then I started talking about all the routes that we haven't done, and he started getting so psyched. My name is Brendan Watts, and I've been climbing outside for the past six or seven hours, and now I'm going to start climbing with y'all. Uh, Tyler pulled me in, so now I can start con trying a little bit hard. Come on, Brendan. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brendan, what did you originally think when people asked you to come in and climb? Uh, I told them no. Why'd you change your mind? Uh, I get psyched on climbing when other strong people are climbing. What's next? All right, what else? He's like sprinting. All right, what's next? I don't know.
<laughs> so you can't do any of them. When I walked into, I was literally gonna go to the bathroom and I was like, oh, I'm gonna go say what's up. Brendan is gonna try the white V10 plus. Blue and pink are the last things over here. Yeah, no, there can't be that many. Wow. You better start. Yes! Yeah! Hey, we did it! Say goodbye to Hannah, the absolute oh goddess, angel, <laughs> love of my too life. Too much, too much, um, but thank you. Thank okay, you. yeah. <laughs> goodbye. Thanks. I can't believe I can't believe you've been here since nine o'clock. That literally sounds like I got here at eleven. Wow. Courtney's been here since nine. Wow. Sarah and Tyler got here at like three, four. Come on. Push and pull. Push and pull. Let's go. Push and pull. Hold it. Nice. Come on. Yes. Push and pull, push and pull. Yes, come on, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Nothing else matters. Go, commit. Commit. Yes, yes. There was talk of trying to recruit another team kid named Gavin, but I guess he had been in a track meet all day. We need Gavin. Where's Gavin? Track meet. He's out of track. He's out of track. I'm thank tired. you, I thank you so much for coming and yeah, being man, part of this. Me. No, Tara sent this purple climb, even though she told me that she hates it. So thanks, Tara. Like, if you guys are really tired, you just have sent like half the gym. So I don't want to feel like I'm <laughs> slave driving. So, <laughs> don't give us an hour. We finish what we start. Appreciate it, but no. Not counting the barrel, we have 11 left. I will do the entire barrel. Okay. You need to focus up and send that white, because if you can send that white, I can send everything else. <laughs> no! Did you know what you were in for when when you came in? We've just been informed that Brennan, <laughs> Brennan the only one I think was invited to go see the Blue Man Group with his parents tonight, <laughs> but he said he was going to bed. I wasn't really aware that bed equaled flashing V10 pluses. <laughs> It 
It's currently 6.50. It's currently 6.50 and I just ate a donut and a <laughs> banana and we're gonna send it. Yeah. Come on. Breathe, Brendan. You got this. <laughs> <laughs> good try, good try, good try, good try, good try. We're saying goodbye to Brendan, but Tyler and Tara and Mark are all still climbing <laughs> after almost 10 hours of being at the gym so far. Yay! Yeah, come on. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, come on, Tara. Come on. Yeah. That's it. That's it? That's it! All right. And that's a wrap. It's 7.22 p.m. and we're officially calling it with only 13 problems left in the entire bouldering gym to send. So overall, we climbed 164 routes for a total of $328 going towards the pack our local climbing organization. I want to give a huge shout out to everyone that came to hang out today and climb. This was so much fun. I hope you all had fun and I hope that everyone watching had a great time watching. It just, it's really cool to see the way that the climbing community can come together to work towards a common goal and just encourage and cheer everyone on. That's what I love about it the most. I think that at the end of the day, it's better to try and have failed than to not try at all. And that's what climbing is. So keep trying, keep failing, keep doing you, and as always, stay hyped. When I reached out to Mason at Athletic Brewing about this idea, I didn't have high hopes. Not because I didn't think it was a good idea. In fact, I thought it was one of my best ideas yet. No, when I reached out, I was worried about not having a big enough audience to matter. So this is what I will say. It does not matter how hard you climb. It does not matter how big of a following you have. It does not matter if you have any experience in what you're trying to accomplish. If you are a person trying to do good in the world, persist. Don't be scared to try and make a difference. Thank you once again to Athletic Brewing and specifically Julie, Mason, and Kara for the work and your generous donation put in to support climbers here in Pennsylvania. As always, thank you so much for watching and stay hyped.